We welcome you back to OSU Football Media Day Live, and I've got our longtime sideline reporter. We were talking 12 years now on the sideline. Does that and qualify as long time now? I, I think okay. it's long time. All Anytime right. you get past a decade, we got to call it long time. But uh, for those of you out here who don't know it, uh, you can kind of blame me for putting Robert out on the sideline. But I knew he was the guy uh, in the media that, above all else, uh, he loved Oklahoma State more than anybody else and probably knew more about OSU football than anybody else. So have you enjoyed 12 years on the sideline? Yeah, I know the answer, but oh, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, it's it's been fantastic. And, you know, here's the other thing too and i can't help but mention this a lot of people know you know zach deep snap my son oh yeah was here to some have of the most the nerve-wracking sideline, years for you absolutely <laughs> i mean i started taking high blood pressure back then <laughs> and i still take it because i still worry about the deep snappers now because once a deep snapper's parent yeah you feel like i mean with andrew Suter <laughs> and Surrogate connor deep cinco snappers. they're they're my sons out there yeah. so but no to have that experience and then obviously to be on the sidelines through the 2011 season, the first one where Oklahoma State wins an unquestioned Big 12 championship, right. wins a BCS Bowl game in the Fiesta Bowl. And one overtime. of the most exciting games in our history. You know, games like that in the past, it's we just, priceless. we just, I've told our fans, we just wouldn't win a game like that game against Stanford in the past. We'd find a way to lose it. And we, we might have got some, gotten some good fortune on a missed field goal, but then the Cowboys said, we're going to win this thing. I, so, I could uh, do one of those MasterCard commercials. You could say, you know, cost of airfare, cost of this, cost of that. Being on the sidelines to watch Oklahoma State win a Big 12 championship and Priceless. a BCS prices. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And, and, of course, you wrote a book. We might plug that because I think it's something, it's still that, out there. Uh, something that every one of our fans should have on their shelves. And uh, tell everybody the name of it and, and uh, you know, where they can get it. It's more than a championship. And, and it, was. it was. It was co-written. Mike Gundy you know, sat down and dictated a lot of it with me. But it tells the story about Glenn Spencer losing his wife the night of the Tulsa game. The Tulsa game itself was a soap opera. Oh, yeah! You know, didn't end until three thirty in the morning. The but, craziest you know, football game, perhaps yeah. of all time, and, and, and even kind of introduces you in a way. You know, Glenn. You know, after going through, you know, the situation with his wife, one of the reporters who who reported the story so tactfully and kindly the next week, Glenn ends up meeting her, and and now you know he's he's married to her. So. They yeah. just got married in July, for those of you who don't yeah. know. It's been out there, so yeah. most people yeah. probably do. Janine is the sweetest gal, and so, you know, there's all kinds of little stories in there. You wrote you wrote uh, one of the— You were uh, hard up for a vignette. Well, uh, we had a lot of vignettes. <laughs> Dave Hunziker and John Holcomb wrote about how tough it is to get a hotel room in Amarillo, trying to go from an OSU basketball game to do a football right. game at Texas Tech. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, of good I, I enjoyed it. I was honored that you asked me on that. I was glad to do it, uh, just kind of talk about where we'd come from, from a facility oh. standpoint, and everybody stepping up. So uh, grab that book. Uh, Robert and, and Coach Gundy did a great job with that, and I think it's something that every fan should have on their bookshelf, either in the office or at home or both. So uh, great job turn, on that. Time to turn the page. Though. It is another time to turn the page, and I know uh, you're one of those guys that believes football ought to be year-round because uh, you love football it above everything round. else. Yeah, well, it is, it is but there's we'd like the season to be that way, yeah. and I think a lot of our fans are that way. But uh, you're you're also with uh, Scout, and uh, so you cover recruiting heavily. And so I think uh, this would be a good opportunity for you to talk about some of our young guys. And you talked about a quarterback that's walking on that uh, your word was uh, uh, maybe a godsend. I yeah, mean, Mike Yersich and Mike Gundy really did. They ended up with a huge bonus. Jake Kubinek out of Georgetown, Texas, that was a record-setting quarterback there. Tore his ACL his junior year in high school. A lot of schools lost touch with him. He took his, uh, he's got a 19-1 and record as a starter in high school. In his senior year, took Georgetown all the way. They lost to Denton Geyer, J.W. Right. Walsh's dad's right. team. And uh, just last week in the Texas High School Coaches Association All-Star Game, he broke a 27-year-old record for passing yards in that game. Wow. So Jake Hubenek is number 11, takes over that number now that it's vacant. And you know what? He's not your typical walk-on, so that's a great deal. In fact, one old coach, one veteran coach, text Johnny Barr, during that game and said, Johnny, this kid's walking on at Oklahoma State. Johnny said, yeah, and he goes, you're getting a darn good walk on. But, you know, we've got some scholarship guys. Rashad Samples, a wide receiver out of Dallas Skyline, and I think it's going to be a guy that has an impact right away. Billy Lavini is a defensive end that could, could play a little bit. Then we've got junior college guys, Sam Wren and Ofahatu, at those defensive end positions, which Mike Gundy just told us in the other room, when the pads go on, Mike's going to watch the defensive ends first. That's what he wants to see. So those are some names. Gerald Morrow's another young man, very athletic in the secondary, but 
That's just a few names of what, Larry, you saw them yesterday introduce themselves to the extreme campers. Sharp, sharp kids. And the most athletic-looking recruiting oh, class we've ever seen here. Yeah. So it just proves success means uh, that uh, you can have more success with those type athletes in recruiting. So uh, smart kids too. Yeah, they smart well kids. Well spoken, and yeah, it was. I good. think that makes a coach's life a little better, and and you know, uh, you you get these smart kids in here, and 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 it doesn't. I don't want to. I want to <laughs> knock on wood here. Uh, you don't seem to have as many off the uh, off the field troubles, and let's just hope that continues. And, and you know, let me say this too. We talked. I, I because it's kind of an expertise for me. We talk newcomers here. Those guys will have a chance to have an influence this year. Junior college guys maybe a little bit more. But that doesn't mean I'm looking past our veterans. I think this is one of the best teams. I would say, you know, going in, in the time I've been, you know, on the sidelines, I look at this as maybe the third best team. The best was 2009. We had a lot of things happen that year that derailed us. The second best was 2011. And that's going into the season. That doesn't mean coming out, these guys couldn't be the best. Couldn't be the best, yeah. Yep. Should be fun. I know you're excited. I am, too. I know our fans are excited. We're going to take a, a short break. You see, here come the Cowboys. They are here. Yeah, Many of the Cowboys players. They don't want to from, They want players. That's here. right. But but I appreciate you joining us, uh, and what a great job you do on the sidelines. So keep it up. And, yeah, and uh, if you're in Oklahoma City, be out there tomorrow night. Larry hey, that's a Reese, good point. Coach Thanks for Gundy. plugging that. Exactly. Uh, the last caravan. Cowboy Caravan is tomorrow night in Oklahoma City, so we hope you'll be there. I think 530, the door's open, so uh, we'll give you some more information on that in just a little bit. But hope you'll be there in Oklahoma City. Roll out. Coach Gundy will give you a synopsis on what's uh, coming up, what's been going on with practice. But, Robert, again, thanks for joining us. And we're going to throw it to a video, uh, again, from uh, a media golf outing. And I believe it's your offensive coordinator, Mike Yursich. I know we're all curious to get to know him a little better. We're going to give you a chance with this short video, and we'll come back with some of the Cowboys right after this.